October 1st marks the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Early detection truly is key. New research helps fund more effective treatments and screening. And here with local efforts to raise money and awareness through Komen Houston's Race for the Cure are breast cancer survivors Kristen Barley and Stacy Peterson. Ladies, thanks so much for being with me today. Do Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for having us. And Kristen, you're also the executive director of the Komen Houston Market. And yes. we're going to talk about the race and how people can get involved. But I want to jump over to Stacy really quickly because you are, as we say, a brand new survivor of breast cancer. Walk me through your story. You found out you had breast cancer right after your 40th birthday? Yeah, I turned 40 in the summer of 2019. I went in for my mammogram, which most women are recommended to do at the age of 40. And lo and behold, I found out I had breast cancer. It was already in the lymph node. Um, it was shocking to me. I had no signs or symptoms, which kind of, you know, for me, it tells the importance of getting those screens every year. Right. Um, and so I went through a whole treatment uh, of chemo from, you know, October then to March of 2020. Uh, went through surgery and radiation, uh, the whole shebang, and about a year-long journey. A year-long journey that included 16 rounds of chemos, two surgeries, 33 rounds of radiation. Um, what is your message to women now? Now you're involved in Houston Komen, so, you know, a lot of people maybe want to take this and move on and just kind of get on with the next chapter, but you're making this a cause and, and standing up and letting people know that you can be cured, we can fight this, but why still be involved? You know, I just think it's such what, what Komen's doing and how they're bringing the community together and um, against this important cause. It is such just an important thing. Your personal health uh, and your reason for kind of like living is the number one thing. And so that's why those screens are so important. I think for me as a professional, as an, you know, an executive, and, and I work full time, I've got three kids, I'm busy, we're all busy. But, uh, but your personal health is first and forefront, right? And, it, and a lot of times that is kind of takes a back seat while we're busy with all these other things. And so part of my message is, there's nothing more important than that. Get out and take care of yourself. Get those screens. Mm -hmm. uh, it, my mammogram, I think, saved my life uh, and because I didn't know that, that this was going on. And it's really important, I think, for people to go out and continue to take care of yourself. Don't let the busyness uh, get in the way, get, get right? In the way. I mean, right. I think pro being proactive is so important. And Kristen, I have two friends, I was just telling both of you during the break, two very dear friends who went through this as mm -hmm. well during the last year. Nine women in my family have had breast cancer. Mm -hmm. I had the BRCA test, I'm negative. So mm -hmm. I, there's, I think everybody has sort of a breast cancer story, whether Absolutely. they are a survivor or a fighter or what's happened, mm -hmm. they are touched by someone. Yes. Um, and I think e even you, I mean, mm -hmm. even being part of the executive branch of Komen, yeah. uh, you're a survivor as well. 13 year survivor I made it my goal to race in my first race for the cure in 2008 and here I am I little did I think that my passion would become my profession and we're just ready to get out and race tomorrow and we're excited and let's talk about the the race because let's face it one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. and this is important to have this race to come together not only lock arms with women uh, strangers neighbors everyone yes. but also to keep the, the research going. Absolutely. So the funds that we raise at the race go for research, care, community, and action. So we're the, out there advocating on behalf of your girlfriends, on behalf of Stacy, um, about uh, uh, on behalf of all men and women that are going through breast cancer and trying to change the laws so they get better health care. We know research is going to save lives. It's eventually going to cure breast cancer. I would love to be out of a job. Um, and, it's true. And, and yeah. then we have our direct services. So we get calls all the time to our Komen Health line one eight seven seven go Komen. that's where people call um, to get information breast health information and then also guidance on screening and diagnostic mammograms what is so great about the screening too because if someone's hearing this and they think oh, I don't remember the last time or I'm 40 mm -hmm. I need to have my mammogram now but I don't have insurance or it's too expensive that number they can call right yes one eight seven seven go Komen, and it doesn't matter where you live if you are in a rural area or right in the city they'll connect you where you need to go. Well, let's talk about the event details yes. coming up tomorrow. I can't believe so it's already exciting. October 2nd, I know. Um, 7.45 kickoff. Yes. You can register on site. You can register on site. You can register right now at Komen.org backslash Houston Race. 
I know the weather's been a little tricky. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, raise, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> rain or shine, we're going right. to be out there. Yeah. So, yes, you can come out on race day and register. Well, it's great. I know it's going to be an awesome event. Houston always shows up big for it. Komen.org slash Houston race is where you can find all that information. Kristen Barley, Stacey Peterson, thank you both so much for coming in today and sharing your stories, and I hope we can at least reach one person today to go out and schedule that mammogram. Ladies, yes. it's great to see you and continued good health to both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You so We'd much. Like, if you would li like to learn more about this year's Race for the Cure event, it's happening tomorrow, of course. Visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.